and hello everyone welcome to the nursing virus youtube channel this is me loganathan and this video regarding the norset aims 2021 second shift examination which they conducted on november 20th the first 50 questions i am going to discuss on this video and so far if you are not subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you will get all my video notification on your device so here we'll go what are the questions they asked in the second shift so the first question the highest dam in india that is that terry dam that is around uh, uh, 260.5 meter height so which is that uh, most highest dam in india which is mainly located in uttarakhand and second question the maximum legal acceptable alcohol level in india that is 30 mg of alcohol per 100 ml of blood is a legally acceptable amount of blood alcohol level so the next one identify that image which they given on the image that is a uh, they given an uh, aspartose syringe so which is mainly used for uh, sucking some kind of an oral secretion during any emergency period we can suck out those secretion from the oral area or the nasopharyngeal area we can suck out and fourth question the solution used for inflating the balloon in the urinary catheter is so normally the distal water around a 4 to 5 m 5 ml or even uh, some cases they used to inject even uh, 5 to 8 ml also they used to inject the next one in question number five non bilious vomiting seen in which condition that is a projectile vomiting so that is that is the main symptom of hypertrophic phyloric stenosis the projectile vomiting is very common and the next one the normal sodium level in the normal saline is 154 mill equivalent of sodium per liter will be present so in the morning shift they asked a similar kind of question in a oral solution so how much potassium will be present on the oral solution they asked and in second shift that is just opposite to the same so the next seventh question the client is having history of repeated common cold and coming with the ear pain as a nurse you predict that that is major indication of which disorder so there is a repeated history of this kind we are mainly indicating the the ear problem that is the otitis media is very common and the next eighth question again that image based question they given that an image of an thyroid retractor and they asked to identify that the full name of this retractor is joel's thyroid retractor and the ninth question which reflex need to be checked during the brain death so they given that uh, four necessary reflexes which we need to check that is a corneal dilatation corneal uh, reflexes they given in the option so and that uh, the except one is the gag reflex we won't check this gag reflex during the case of brain death so the next one the normal level of potassium that is in a 3.1 sorry 3.5 to 5.1 mill equivalent per liter in some book it may be given only that 5 mill equivalent per liter but according to that option which they given the aims this one is a correct so in the 11th question the trenax that is a trenaximis acid solution which will be administered in which route so commonly this one will be injected through the iv that is the intravenous injection format it will be given and the next one the normal catheter size for the adult female so in the morning shift they asked about that uh, instead of female they asked for the male so here the female size is 10 to 12 francis size will be selected for the females so and uh, 13th question when to check the serum lithium level after the last dose of administering the lithium drug so actually this the lithium will be used as the mood stabilizer in case of uh, manic patients so the lithium level period periodically will be checked so after that uh, 12th hours of last dose the lithium level will be checked 
So then only we'll get the accurate value. Then the 14th question, the maneuver used to empty the urinary bladder who is not able to empty by themselves. That is credit maneuver will be used commonly to empty the, empty the bladder in case of emergency condition. So the next one, the 15th question, how long the depot medoxyprogesterone acetate or DMPA contraceptive will be effective. That is around uh, the three months of period will be effective for that uh, DMP use contraceptive. So this is one of that uh, temporary method. And in that morning shift, they asked about that longest uh, contraceptive. That is that uh, copper T 380A. They asked and that 16th one. The episiotomy procedure should be done during uh, the which stage of the baby coming out. That is uh, during the crowning phase. We need to do the episiotomy. Then only the, the baby will use to come out easily. And the next one, which is the common vein to start IV line in the upper extremities. That is that uh, basilic vein is one of the commonest site will be selected for all the normal adult human beings so the 18th one about that fluid the tpn coming under which type of fluid that is the one of the hypertonic fluid so the next one the result of montex test in a hiv patient uh, the skin reaction test that the uh, tuberculin test that is a uh, the value of greater than or equal to 5 mm will be considered as positive in case of HIV patient. For the normal human, that should come around 15 mm in the next 20th one. So what is the most common side effect of ectopic pregnancy? So the common side effect for ectopic pregnancy is fallopian tube. And the next one, the common type of bandage done at the joint. That is the, the figure of eight is a very common type. In the morning shift, they asked about that angle. So on the angle, what is the common type will be used? That is the, the spiral. And the 22nd, so what is the best method to prevent the infection? That is, of course, the hand washing is the basic technique to prevent the infection. And the next one, the most common side effect of aspirin overdose is the tinnitus. That it tinnitus means nothing. There is a ringing in the ear. See, so this is this is all the repeated MCQ in the AIMS exam. So the next 14th, sorry, 24th, the type of stool seen in the peptic ulcer patient. So actually, normally the peptic ulcer patient will not show much symptom, but uh, on the tool, they will used to show that coffee ground stool. And that sometimes the blood in stools is very common in case of peptic ulcer patient. So in the 25 related to the surgery, the surgical safety checklist, the sequence. So they asked some sequence about the uh, during the surgical procedure. That is a sign in, time out and sign out. So actually that every surgical procedure will used to have the three phases that is sign in before induction of the anesthesia while the patient is still conscious and time out with the surgeon present before the skin insertion and the completion of the procedure is considered as time out sign out so this is the sequence and the next one the Nagel's formula or the edd calculation so this will be the basic fundamental thing that every nurses need to know that is that last menstrual period and plus nine months and plus or minus seven days so this is known as Nagel's formula or that edd calculation in case of pregnant woman in the next 27 in one ml of oxytocin ampule the oxytocin contain how many units they asked that is a 10 units will be contained in every one ml of oxytocin so the next one uh, which injection site has the highest risk for sciatic injury the sciatic nerve damage the dorsal gluteal side is uh, will be should be avoided to prevent that uh, injury of the sciatic nerve and the next 29 and again fundamental basic question 
the which anti tuberculin drug cause orange colored urine that is a rifampin or rifampicin so the same question were asked in the nimans also so the 30th question calculate the pulse pressure of the patient with who is having 160 per 80 mm of hg so they asked the pulse pressure for this blood pressure so the pulse pressure is nothing just we need to minus the systolic and diastolic pressure so thereby you will get the pulse pressure so that is 160 minus 80 that consider as 80 so that is the value for the pulse pressure the next one the best method to assess the hydration status of the client is to monitor the intake and output chart so this is the best way or best method to watch the hydration status so even the improvement also we can monitor with the IO chart so the next one so what is the largest sorry what is the law latent stage of the labor that is the beginning stage that is the ambulation and richest source of the vitamin c is amla so after that amla that uh, even that orange also is secondary sources but in india the amla is one of the richest source of vitamin c so the next one the vaccine stored in freezers compartment without any damage so the measles can be stored without getting any damage to the the vaccine so the next one 35 the sign of identifying severe hydration in children that is a shunken eyes so in case of an uh, infant or newborn that will be the answer will be differ that is a uh, shunken fontanels so in case of children's that uh, shunken eyes is very common sign so the next 36 the sequence of doing breast cancer assessment the first one the clinical evaluation if you are finding anything abnormal you can go for that mammogram that finally take the tissue biopsy to confirm the breast cancer so the next one all of the following is viral disease except the streptococcus is one of the and bacterial infection then the next 38 they again that uh, body temperature conversion the same question they asked in the reverse manner the 101.2 fahrenheit body temperature is converted in the celsius is 38.4 degree celsius so in the morning shift they asked in the reverse format they given that celsius value and they asked to identify the fahrenheit so in 39 the purpose of using abdominal binder in the abdominal surgery is to support the suture and to minimize the abdominal pain so this is the basic uh, purpose for using that abdominal binder and the next one so the normal weaning started at which month in indian children's that is that on six month the end of the sixth month they will start the normal weaning and next one the 41 the giga virus is caused by which mosquito that is adis species mosquito is commonly spreading the the giga virus in 42 what type of anemia is microcytic hypochromic type that is commonly iron deficiency anemia in 43 according to who what is the axillary body temperature is considered as hypothermia so when the person is having that below 35.0 degrees celsius that will be considered as an uh, hypothermic condition so the next 44 the client is having instability in blood pressure that means low blood pressure and heart rate were become decreased and uh, the temperature regulation also were impaired so this will indicate which type of shock so that uh, low bp and as well the bradycardia were indicating for the neurogenic shock so in 45 the face shield used while carrying the covid client need to be sterilized by which solution by using the one percentage of sodium hypochlorite that uh, face shield need to be sterilized for the 10 minutes duration so the next one so what drug is used to manage 
the preeclampsia patient to avoid the seizure so commonly the iv administration of magnesium sulfate will be administered to decrease the risk of seizure development the next one 47 how to clean the sterile drainage that is from inner to outer so this is the way to clean the sterile drainage and the next one the following vaccine given in the im root except so actually that mmr vaccine will be given in the subcutaneous root so the next one 49 so what is the ph level of the amniotic fluid that is a six point or above will be considered as normal ph of the amniotic fluid so the next one about that vote to oxygen administration so what is the maximum level of oxygen delivered through the venturian mask that is the flow rate of and 2 to 15 liter commonly will be administered through venturian mask so on the percentage level 24 to 60 percentage commonly administered through the venturian mask so so that's all about the the second shift question and the first shift question already i have discussed and you can go and check it that video description or to my channel to know all the answers we'll see in the next video thanks for joining with me thank you